Hello everyone, it is Joe here from OmniPoke, the channel that brings you guys everything Pokemon. If you're looking for PTCGO codes, including the stuff from Pokemon Go, check out the Potown store. You can get a 5% discount on your order using that code OmniPoke. For today's video, we are once again looking at Zoroark Toolbox, one of my favorite decks to experiment with, and Pokemon Go gives us a couple of really spicy inclusions, including Slowbro with that Twilight Inspiration attack, a very cool one, and actually pretty relevant at helping your late game, seeing as though your opponent basically has to go down to one prize if they're up against this deck because we're all one prizes, so unless they're setting up some crazy board states with taking multiple turns or doing quick shooting, bench sniping plays, we should force a Slowbro to be useful and it can simply yoink two prize cards at the end. This could be amazing in one prize v one prize matchups because it's a way that we can get ahead in that race. Even if we've gone behind, as long as we are only one prize behind our opponent, we will catch up with the Slowbro at the end of the game with just a twin energy. So our late game basically becomes get two Zoroarks down and wait, <laughs> which is pretty good. And uh, also, in multiple prize matchups, you don't have to find a massive combo to get through like a big charmed VMAX or something like that. You can just use the inspiration, ignore your opponent's board and just take those prizes for yourself, which is very cool. This card is much more glamorous uh, than it is effective, but it still is very good, especially in those one prize matchups and can really help make your late game much more awkward for the opponent to play around at the very least, just the threat of him being there. The other card we get is Radiant Charizard, and this card is honestly like a cheat code. It's so insane. It is a rule box Pokemon, so we are having to put stadiums in here, but no matter, because the stadium is also very good for the card. Uh, the Magma Basin helps us get towards Combustion Blast that little bit faster, because its attack cost is very high. For fire and four colorless, you do 250 damage, but the Excited Heart ability allows us to reduce that cost for each prize card the opponent has taken. So with naturally four twin in here and a couple basin, you can get this online much earlier on in the game. And 250 is a very good number as we know into V-Stars. We're playing two Choice Belt and Leon in here so that we can get around Big Charmed or Tool Jammered uh, two prizes, as well as just the natural belts being good uh, at just hitting the raw 280, which is extremely strong. Uh, you can even Leon Belt and get through Mew if there's no Oracorio around, which is also uh, pretty strong for you. And there is some reason for them to not have Oracorio just because there's things like Flapple in the mix. So, uh, yeah, very, very decent uh, card. Very strong. We already play Clara's and Reload. And we're also playing Ornery Rod. So we have lots of ways to try and rinse and repeat the Zard, which is... Making this deck's late game, you know, way stronger even than when I was playing the Galarian Moltres package because it's easier to loop the Zard as the game progresses because the opponent takes more prizes and makes him cheaper to use. Um, and his base output is higher than the Moltres earlier on in the game. So we only really need a couple other attackers in here in the mix uh, because we have the Zard Slowbro as the majority of our late game. So we have the Wormadan in here for fighting type coverage. Uh, to try and be strong into Arceus. We have the Mightyena, obviously very strong against Mew. Uh, it's also decent at helping us get around like Duraludon, for example, where we can attack for no energy attachments, so we're not getting wrecked by the fact that we play mostly twin energies. So an early game of Mightyena and a late game of Zard is good enough to get through them in many cases. We have that Flapple, very decent, at, especially in Teleon engines where the opponent wants to go wide. And Altaria is still one of my favorite cards uh, in the deck, giving us a natural pivot as well as ways into our many supporter cards and really helps the likes of Palpad become a very strong option because you can pad immediately tempting tune and make do straight into the card. Outside of that, yeah, we just have the draw package of Four Force Encino. The Call for Family is a good option for us as well as having the Gormandai Snorlax as a way to draw cards, uh, which is never a bad thing. We can just try and pay retreat into him or even Bird Keeper into the guy. So we have a good amount of outs there and the mana feed to try and protect our bench. Our item cards are pretty simplistic, just tons of ball search. Of course, the Hisuian in here to try and help get the Zard or the mana fee or whatnot. Uh, lots of discard synergy as well to, again, help the Wormadam and just get Zoro pieces in the bin. Uh, the supporters are in low counts, but of course we can try and reuse them with Palpad. Birdkeeper is our only pivoting option, so keep that in mind. Usually it's good enough. And then we just play the standard four twin as well as four fire energy. Extra make-do fodder is never a bad thing because Basin is our stadium of choice. So 
Let's get some gains in with Zoro. I've kind of been bouncing all over the place with Zoro. I initially was trying <clears throat> a ton of like different lightning attackers. They never really worked out. So I just said, let's just lean into Zard. It's the strongest card of Pokemon Go. <laughs> let's just try and uh, try and make the most out of him. And it seems to be doing better than any other concoction I was able to make on stream today. And honestly, it's not too far away from where I was previously with the Moltres build. So it's comfortable for me as well to be fair, in terms of play style. Looks like we have a pretty awkward start. I have um, level ball bird keeper call for family as an option. So maybe not the worst. And looks like we're up against Solrock Lunatone, which is going to be a perfect example of how Slowbro could be our hero here. Uh, we want to make sure that Flapple's in here. That's definitely a good card to keep track of because they obviously need to put down a lot of... Um, a lot of Soul Rock. We've actually prized our Slowbro, which is a real shame. So we're going to hope that it's in the first four prize cards we take for sure. Because <laughs> uh, it's likely they take the first prize on us, let's be honest. Uh, the alternative is that we just sit with Zard and hope that tanks, but that's, that's a very ho hopeful play. Um, so... I will level ball one more time for another Mincino. Then I'll just double. I'll, I'll call for family for two Zerua. Actually, I should get the Flapple here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they're not going to play hand disruption, right? So I should just do this. And go. Man, you know, that was wrong. I was meant to go extra Mincino here. Hold the incense for the Flapple. Okay. Um, but regardless, we're going to call for fam here. Oh, so maybe I go double Zerua now. No, because I don't have discard in hand, so it just has to be like this. That's actually a small mistake for me, and I can get punished by them bossing uh, a Zerua here, but it's not likely, right? That they have enough discard just in hand. The rope's actually good for us, because Zard is big. And we just want time, really, against them. Okay, so their hand is looking very weak. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's good news for us, obviously. Makes up for my initial error. Uh, let's continue to thin. Evolving Pokemon. But the whole idea, basically, is that they, as long as they only go one prize ahead against us, which is pretty easy, because, of course, Night Days can take prizes, and Flapple can take prizes against them. That even if we go behind, we should have the catch-up mechanics inbuilt. Uh, so I'm going to evolve. I'm going to attach a fire to the active, honestly. And we can just pass it there. Um, alternative is that I just turn into a Flapple now and get an extra Zerua down. That's actually probably better. It's better against boss players. All right, let's pass. This is going to feel like the slowest one prize v one prize matchup, but we know that we're in control, right? That's the good news. We are firmly in control of this as long as we can access our slow bro. Alright, so they are going to boss. So ironically, I can take a prize of Zard here, but I think I should just cash in on the Flapple while it's here. Because they can net these guys up in theory, right? Uh, let's thin this Mighty Enter out. The 
time for Snorlax has ended. I don't hate quick balling away a quick ball. I could just quick ball away Cincino as well, though, to be honest. Let's just get double Zerua. Make sure we're just never missing attacks at this point. We can use that big flapple. So, we are one prize behind, which means we lose the game if the slow bro is not in our next three prize cards. And they can actually attack us this turn, of course. Which they can. They really are out here struggling, though. Their hand has been bad. It's time for me to use my first Zard hit, and Zard is tanky. It requires a lot of moon action, sun and moon action. <clears throat> Whilst we just dig deeper through our deck. Get more Zoros in the, in the pool. And we can just swing. Slow bro? Oh, I want to see some inspiration in this video. Where's my inspiration? One does not simply come up with a deck list, they must be inspired. The opponent's opening hand has been absolutely troll, though. But I think as long as I... If I had played my level ball correctly and just got a second Zeru, I, I don't think I ever lose. Well, I just had to get a Mincino right, so I could then call for fan for double Zeru. So despite me trolling, we're still in, like, a never-lose position. As long as we hit the slow bro. Like, no, it didn't matter how well they drew it, as long as we hit Slowbro in time. really just having to cycle draw again. It's 162 fat. Too large and in charge. Okay, so they can get a soul rock to actually attack here. But 120 is not enough. Unless their hand is rope uh, boss, I should say. Not rope, because he's attaching active. That's 150, I'm afraid. The Zard is too thick. It's too dense. our weakness to get the job done here. So now we don't even need the help of the bro. <clears throat> Which is good, because it seems like he wasn't coming anytime soon.
I think it can level ball, but I mean, it's just another soul rock, so they can attack, right? They can get the KO. I guess it's another Lunatone for them, actually. But they never catch up to us, right? They even prize Lunatone, I guess. Still want to make dues. Let's make sure we don't lose our chain of Zeruas. Slapping with the mucus. Would we have hit the slow bro? Yes. So we were destined to win. Oh, so they did have. They just chose not to take it? That's so weird. Wait, what? They chose to not level ball a. Wait. Okay. Let's get the Zard in one more time. Oh wait, I can I can do a cool play. Let's do the cool play. That's one way to get slow, bro. He didn't even let me do it. Come on. <laughs> you gotta let me do it. Come on. You can't do that to me. But yeah, you, you should have... I mean, you have a, a way better chance than a one prize, like other one prize mirrors, right? Because then it's mostly who hits first wins, outside of like Inteleon net shenanigans if the opponent plays that or whatever. Um, because we have way too much reuse of like Manaphy, so we're never gonna get done by snipers outside of ping damage. So in theory, as long as you slow bro, you're good. And as long as your opening isn't like atrocious. This one is looking pretty solid. Call for family, such a great fallback option for the deck. Oh, it's another one? Farm mirror, or oh, sorry, farms lunar rock with this one simple trick. Ironically, we actually can use Poker Stop a little bit here. A little, only a little. Things can go haywire, but we have Power Pad and we have Clara, so we should never like lose out on energy or anything else. That's a really good draw as well. Let's see the damage. Well, it ain't slow, bro. So we're happy with that. Uh, we can definitely do this. I have Twin for next turn. I have Altaro for next turn. So it's really just, I just need to get towards Cincino next turn. Uh, Zoroark, I should say.
Shouldn't be too hard. We have Clara as outs as well. Okay. Give us the maximum amount of draw. Against Lunar Rock, it's pretty likely that you don't take the first prize, of course. Because they're lower to the ground than us. They have more burst. Why did they not just attach to the Soul Rock? They took a risk here. They risked whiffing an attachment. Yeah, spent a net. Oh, I guess they had attachment anyway. Okay. They can do another sun energy. All right. Bird Keeper, not a bad draw. Can help us keep drawing cards. Let's get rid of this chap. This chap. Nothing coming yet. Where is that Zorro? Oh man. Uh, are we really going to whiff this? So I have Pokestop as well as Keeper. I guess I should keep her first. Uh-oh. Right, okay. We need to hit Ultra Ball or Incense off the Poker Stop. I cannot believe it. Oh, man. Losing the auto win feels so bad. What can I do? Zard would be my tankiest mon. Snorlax isn't tanky enough. Yeah, it's just an L. We should never lose from there, really. Look how many draws we had. 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 draws. 9 with how many outs? Jeez. That's just a bad beat, I guess. That sucks. You should never lose that matchup, really. When you draw as well as we drew, right? Should never whiff there. Jeez, Louise. Let's get a third game in, I guess. That should be our farm, to be honest. That should be one of the best selling points of the deck. Hey, it's a Snorlax start. All right. Definitely appreciate a mulligan here. Urshi? Uh-oh. Urshi definitely scary. Flapple is good against them. Zard is like mid against them because they can play Cheryl. Um, but early Zard isn't bad. Gives me something to attach to here. We're, funnily enough, pretty close to being able to slam with the Zard <laughs> just next turn. We could Basin, Bird Keep, hit a twin. Pretty funny. Z 
Zard isn't just for the late game, my friends. He can come in swinging. Doesn't need an excited heart to be able to blast through the opponent. Got the sweet Urshifu. Keep calling. Pretty standard stuff. The gang's all here. Alright, let's... As much as I want to guarantee a Manaphy here, I think I should be trying to draw as many cards as possible. Wow, we actually get to swing with Lizard, turn two. And we get the Manaphy as well. This is insane. Hello there. Well, that's something you don't see every day. Or maybe you do. That's a great prize. So the issue is they of course can ping down the Manaphy or they can try and take an extra turn on the Manaphy. They, they still have a lot of stuff they can do. And we can't really stop them doing a Cheryl shenanigan against us. That's the issue. We see Drizzle for Irida. I'm gonna grab Octillery Bucket. So we know they have Net in hand. Because they're just gonna go for a Gale Thrust here, surely. There's that. There's Quick Shooter already in their thoughts. Peonia coming out, okay. Okay, my 10 is a pretty good draw. Something we can use this turn. I think we're getting rid of the Ultra Ball here as well. Pretty locked into this Clara play. It means I can swing with Flapple for 100. Or do I just go for the Mighty Enna hit? The Mighty Enna hit lets me attach to Zard. Which I'm kind of into. The only thing in that the only issue is the long jet like if I have to use this Mighty Enna twice, it's really bad. Whereas if you use the flapple. It's got that longevity to it because it this becomes a reliability if I have to use it twice so I think it's this and then we just get the fire energy and the lizard I think we still put down the Zerua here Just the 100. It's low key, but it's enough damage for them to think about for sure. Especially because they've seen our burst potential now with Basin and uh, Twin. 
they should kind of be aware that Zard cycling is in our thought process. Well, okay, they play Horn, so that's something we definitely need to consider. I'm going to say Peonia now. So I guess they're just Peoniering the Horn back in <laughs> to the prizes. That would be my first thought. So there's no Cheryl actually from them. So they are very vulnerable to a Zard hit. Very vulnerable. There's a Rad Stoice. Can I see Stoice quick shooting? Okay. So I don't play um, Net, which is obviously a concern here. But they need to get another Urshi down, don't they? If they don't get another Urshi, they're going to get wrecked by a Zard. In theory, right? Maybe they don't think I play like enough Basin to do it, but... Disrespecting the Lizzie. Cannot believe this. Uh, so we do have Basin and Twin in here to hit. I feel like we basically win on the spot if we do it. Research the top, then make do. Seven draws for greatness. And greatness wasn't had. So we definitely put Manaphy up front so it can't get Blastoise pinged. Definitely attach here. Just pass. It was kind of a dreamer play, but I think you you with that gamble, you win on the spot if it comes off. So it's just one of those, I think. It's like, don't you just want to win on the spot? Winning on the spot's so good. All right, so they can quick using Yoga Loop here. The thing is, I can't even give them lax because they can just go Urshi uh, ping ping as well. So they're going down to one, but they only have the Urshi uh, to attack with. 
They need to net something up and put another Urshi down, right? I guess they can go Intel, Ping, knock out Radiant Zard and Cincino, or knock out Radiant Zard Altaria. The Stoice is doing the stuff right now. The juice. Boss. So they're trying to trap the Lax. Trap the Lax and take out Cincino Zard. Altaria, okay. And I don't think we can win from that spot, right? Because he has Ping and Teleon and this. Does he have enough rapid energy? Oh, he doesn't need more rapid energy. He's got the perfect amount. Yeah, it's just game. <clears throat> I don't think we're ever... I mean, that's obviously a very bad matchup when you don't play Nets. If you play, if we play Nets there, maybe there's a chance, because we were always keeping our board too full for... I guess he can just do more. Like, it takes him longer to just pop off with a Zard combo on us, but he still probably does it on Manaphy, just all in a turn instead. So I think you're just getting feasted by that deck, unfortunately. Urshi always used to feast on one prizes, so nothing's really changed there. Always has been. The Stoice is very scary though. Let's get our last game in. It's a very solid starting hand. And we see another Sob Sob. It's going to be Palkia. Is it going to be... Arc. Bucket probably means Palk. Uh, they actually just... Oh my goodness. Well, you don't see that every day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's... One more it is. One more it is. We got the time for one more, huh? Okay. Fine, fine. That's a way to win a game of Pokemon. Busted Leon. Busted Leon. The rear kick. Wow. This video has been all over the place. We beat a bricking Solrock Lunatone, then we had the absolute stones and somehow missed against Solrock Lunatone. Then we got stalled on by a Stoice, and then we just donked a Sobble. Like, I know Zoro is a fiesta, but we're truly embracing it today. I'm really leaning into the clownery. All right, touch wood, not the worst start again either. You always like seeing the level balls. Lightning deck box, so we're gonna see some arc peak. I wonder. Man, it's super hot in the UK today. It's boiling. Voltorb. I really have tanked my MMR playing this deck, haven't I? 
Here, I, I, I'm assuming I'm not getting threatened turn one, so we'll just chill. What is this? Okay. Ele Coco Electrode. Well, Wormadam should be pretty good here. Pretty Wormadam good. That's all of our supporters going, which I'm not a huge fan of. Do we have the pad? We do have the pad, I guess. I guess I could Leon again, honestly. <laughs> This is so troll. Like, how does he actually power up a guy without this thing? This is ridiculous, honestly. Can you tell it's late at night? Because <laughs> my brain is fried and I'm making some plays. I'd really welcome Amani, honestly. It's just too many supporters hitting the bin here. Like I said, I, as much as I like holding on to a research or whatever, I, I want a different hand. Too many supporters hitting the bin. This Leon been bussing. I take it all back. This hand is trash. Not really. I can Gormand. I don't mind sitting behind Gormandize because we know that if we set up, Wormadam can just bop him at this point. We have the technology. Alright, just gonna spike draw. Gonna debate this attachment. I think I like got on the Cincino as a pivot play. And we'll just take the five cards here. Again, shouldn't be under too much pressure from him. His acceleration should only be electrode and like right hand, maybe. Setup should just be our priority. There's a speed. Another money coming in. Denying our gobbles. It's not the worst. I unironically might power pad the Leon back just because um the worm can build to a to a size 
Oi, oi, Voltorb's back. Alright, it's going to spike draw into us. Uh, okay, so, Bird Keeper. I guess I can. I don't need to hit this Coco, right? Let's uh, recycle the Bird Keeper with Power Pad. I think, honestly, I make the Zard because it'll scare him and make him play weird. Hold the incense because I can turn it into a Cincino maybe next turn. We'll just chill like this. Alright. We're chilling out, sitting back, building a scary board of one prizes. They can finally. Swing with thunderous bolt if they wish. Avery a little annoying here. Is it time for the big Coco the Max? It sure is. Can we get the Wormadam KO is the question. Well, that certainly helps. It's late, guys. It's it's laid out. Right, we're gonna mighty and a KO the Vault Orb. <laughs> oh, what a mistake! That's so troll. Or am I gonna mighty and a hit and make a Zoro? I guess I'm gonna make up for my mistakes. <laughs> What a troll. I feel like this is unlosable to be honest, but I'm I'm finding a way. We really did. <laughs> really were meant to make do first, huh? Alright, Coco number two is coming in. They can make an electrode. That big buzzer. See the clean research for seven.
see the attachment to the Coco. And just the Max Shock, okay. So we'll go Zard swinging. Extra Zuru is perfect. I like all of these cards. Maybe Leon the least. We can get on in there with the Zard. And the Worm is getting powerful. So I imagine we're getting Roxand here. Roxand Path KO. But we have a pretty robust board against that. There's the Bazap, so we go down to one. They also, for some reason, benched a Voltorb, which I don't understand, but... Hey-ho. There's the VMAX. It's just a money. Some reason benching even more Volt Orbs. Very strange. I feel like I'm not going to bird keep first, so I'll go here. Again, I can play pretty patiently here. I can just bench stuff. Play the Clara. Zard isn't doing anything. Oh, I retreated into the wrong one. This is fine, though. It's basically the same thing. I guess I could tumbling tackle with Slowbro. <laughs> Sounds really bad. I guess I could just hit with my Tiena as well. Does make him make plays. It's been the My Tiena show this game. Are they just going to bazap to end the game? No, they're going to carry on. Fair play. I 
Uh, still don't have game yet. There it is. Oh, I obviously did have game. What am I even doing? It is way too late, but let's use the worm just to use the worm, right? Let them know it's there. Yeah. I really am trolling today. <laughs> Can you tell that I've streamed already for so many hours with this concoction that my brain is sludge? <laughs> Anyone who's stuck around, thanks so much. Uh, I, I think there's something here. Like, literally, Zardin's so insane that it makes any deck look passable. <laughs> Like, it's actually just such an insane card. It's so crazy. And the slow bro is kind of funky. It does put people in weird spots. And you can have that inevitability in the late game where your deck is thin enough and you have enough make-dos. And oftentimes Altaria is in the mix as well as, like, part of your late game. So ride that early game. Get out of the gates and just try and swing in those one prize matchups on turn two if you can. Or at least one, like, as a response KO is basically the thing you always have to conjure up. Um, and if you can do that in one prize matchups, you're okay. In multiple, uh, multiple prize matchups, usually Radiant Zard is enough to like carry you, as well as some of these other pieces we have going on. So pretty spicy deck. Let me know what you guys think about Zoro and its new inclusions. Where else are you seeing Radiant Zard? Yes, I'm gonna be showing more and more of this card uh, because I do think it's the formula. It's like the card is too insane to not be broken for worlds. Like it really is too strong. Uh, right, so we'll see more of him soon. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in another video tomorrow. Cheers.